So in this video here, we're going to upgrade our Windows tablet to Windows 10. Comes with Windows 8.1 Bing with Bing here on the Stream 7 32-bit version. So we did the USB key on installation guide and we actually created on here the Data Traveler Micro USB 3.0. We're going to use that here with it has 32-bit version of Windows 10 on it alongside this Anatech USB on the go cable it's pretty cool little adapter three USB ports has SD card slot on the bottom of it and then you have this not only a full USB port but then you have this little adapter here that allows you to plug it into micro USB ports such as on tablets and smartphones and be able to interact and use peripherals and storage and such so we're going to get plug that in here we're going to plug this into here we should have this automatically pop up just like that there we go and we're gonna go ahead and hit setup.exe double tap on that go ahead and yes and we'll go ahead and minimize this and in a second the executable should run which is I see it there we go the windows flashed up real quickly there we go again preparing and we should get ourselves ready to upgrade to windows 10. All right, we presented it with the screen here to get important updates, just in case to make the ins installation smooth. We can use the download of, um, install updates now or not right now. I'm gonna go ahead and next and let it go ahead and do check the updates. So I wanna make sure that this install goes nice and smooth here on the tablet. So we're gonna go let it ahead and do that and then we'll come back once all that's finished. Okay, finished checking for updates. Now we're at the license terms and we can redo that if we want to. Most people don't, so we'll just hit accept. And it's gonna probably ask us what we wanna keep exactly. You notice the setup's pretty much the same, kind of across the board. Um, regardless if you're upgrading on a tablet, you're upgrading on a desktop or a, or, or a uh, laptop, you're kind of seeing the same sort of upgrade process, which is pretty cool. This is really all Microsoft doing that one OS for all sort of scenario here. So it's good to see that uniformity as you can see as we've gone through the different installation steps. So, Looks like it's checking for some more updates here. And once that's complete, we'll jump right back. All right, looks like we're ready to install here. As you can see, it's gonna install Windows 10 Home. It's gonna keep personal files and apps. You can choose to not do that if we don't want to, but we're gonna go ahead and keep everything as it is and hit install. And it's gonna go through the install process. So we got the nice little boring blue screen here as it's gonna go through its install process. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do that. And we'll show you sort of the process as it kind of goes through and then we're going to catch back up again here once we finally finished the installation of Windows 10 here on HP Stream 7. Okay, looks like the installation is complete here. I don't think we're going to need to keep this plugged in. We can just kind of move that to the side here. And let's go ahead and go through the menu here. Looks like it's pretty much the same as we've seen before. It says hi there, welcome back. We'll go ahead and hit next. And in this case, we'll use Express Settings and we'll keep the default applications. And we'll go ahead and go into finalizing your settings. Looks like it's gonna pop up. Here's a second here with something, kind of went all black there. Give it a second here too. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've logged in and it's starting to set everything up here for us. So hopefully it won't take long. It's installing apps, it says, setting up your apps and Get a nice little blue screen to look at here. So we'll go ahead and let this run. And when it's completed, we'll jump right into Windows 10 on our HP Stream 7 tablet. And we have arrived. Here we are with Windows 10 on our HP Stream 7. Pretty cool here. With the start menu, we can, it looks like we can hop around and do a few different things here. All right. Nice, nice, nice. It's got everything synced up. Let's see if the like that's not responding there just yet. Um, let's see if we can swing into tablet mode here. It's probably be a little bit more useful. All right. Oh, I was in tablet mode. We'll go back in and out. Oh, there we go. Looks like I got hung up there just a little bit. Oh, awesome. Here we go. All right. Let, let me let me get to playing with this here and um, get some big uh, feedback for you guys. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.